You may not think of baton twirling as an elite sport, but you'd be wrong. It is. And it's not just for young women. Yeah, the World Championships begin next week at a Fredericksburg man is one of only three men in America competing in what's described as the Olympics of baton twirling. Here's Peggy Fox with the story. At its core, it's really just object manipulation. It's it's technically a weapon. When you think of baton twirlers, this image probably does not come to mind. 26-year-old Richie Terwilliger of Fredericksburg is one of only a handful of competitive male baton twirlers in America. Next week, he will be one of only three men representing the United States in the World Baton Twirling Championships in Florida. I actually started and stopped quit probably five or six times along the way when I started. And that's because it is a bit of an uncomfortable environment when you're one of only a few guys in a, in a sport that's dominated by girls. He credits his sister for getting him into the sport. They've performed together. But it was also his background in martial arts. He's a third degree black belt. But this sport is only what he does in his spare time. He has a very impressive day job as an engineer. So I'm a mechanical engineer for the U.S. Navy's Chemical, Biological, and Radiological Defense Division. He says his science background is why this sport intrigues him. You have to analyze some of the physics behind exactly how it's spinning and how you can actually correct for that. So there's actually a correlation between people that go into physics and engineering and the sciences and going long ways in, in baton because it does take um, not just the physical side of things and the creative side of things, but a very technical mindset to be able to correct yourself and, and perfect things as best you can. Terwilliger has been at baton twirling for 13 years. He's earned one gold medal, two bronze medals, and multiple top 10 medals in international championships. This will be his fourth world championships. In Fredericksburg, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9. That's pretty amazing. Canada, France, Italy, and Japan will all be competing against the United States in the World Baton Twirling Championships in Florida next weekend.